there we are. Welcome. In this um, healing video, I will be explaining the, intric the intricacies of shielding, explaining why you need a shield, um, explaining how to shield, explaining the various ways that negative entities and energies get around you shielding, and um, I'm going to share my own stories on shielding. I had a really hard time initially, it took a very long time to get a working shield. I'm going to explain um, the, the various major like, problems I had with shielding, the various ways um, entities got in, and the and then I'm going to explain um, just how recording works, soul contracts, etc. How how it nullifies shielding. Uh, but before that, you may say, Lawrence, you have a video that explains how to do shielding, and hopefully you've done the video. If you, if you haven't, that's okay. So why am I making a um, the only video for shielding, and I will explain um, what exactly this is doing after this. And the reason for that is very simple. This, <laughs> this, video, this video game is absolutely terrible. In general, so much relies not on energetic knowledge um, or technique or who's the better drawer, who can draw the best shield. That has nothing to do with it. What matters is simply energetic strength. It beats everything. You can have very little intention, you know, not be thorough at all, but have just kept training your energy, um, even in something completely unrelated to shielding. But if you have just trained your energy and gotten stronger, it works. And if, if you haven't, then you can have the best shielding technique in the entire world, and it won't mean anything. <laughs> because the weakest entity can just walk by your house, see you, break your shield, you know, kick in the stomach, and then just walk off. So, what this shooting video is going to do, and for anyone who's quite energy sensitive, you can probably feel this, it's going to turn you into a rather large golden energy pillar. It will radiate out from you in a radius of two, two and a half kilometers. That is a circle for anyone who doesn't know what a radius is. Um, you, anyone who has a positive soul or posit, positive heart, which hopefully most of your neighbors will have this work on anyone without a soul or who is evil will not um it will not work on if you you know think your neighbor he's not evil but you really don't like him you can say you know skip my neighbor and it'll skip it but overall um that's just what will be going on around you and if you don't want it to work on anyone around you just say it and it will the energy of this video will form a very large sphere around you and that will then begin to build an energetic shield around your overall energy. I'll go more into detail in that in a, a little later on. It will then do energy body restoration, uh, along with restoring, clearing quite a few major things. You may feel warm. If you feel the energy is absolutely crushing you, picture a lever in your hand. Now, I have my lever set to automatic. You can do that. You can just say automatic and it'll go up or down. Um, if you have a lot of interference, do it yourself. Don't just let the lever pick because it's going to either go all the way off or it's going to go through the roof and you, <laughs> you, you'll feel terrible. Um, so set your lever at, at whatever um, level you want it at. Don't crush yourself. You, you can bring it up and if you feel a wall, that's where you should really have it at. Don't just keep dragging and dragging and dragging because you'll feel squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and it will be working faster, but you're not going to have an enjoyable experience. It can be entertaining being squeezed for five minutes. It, it's not entertaining being squeezed for two or three hours. It gets very old very quickly. Um, if anyone has any questions about shielding in general, uh, feel free to ask them and I will uh, talk about it. So I first started energy training in 2018 and I believe either very early February or in the very end of January a friend sent me the fundamentals of magic with a K by Sean Chide and in there shielding it was step eight um, it was shielding and quick wording and his technique was fairly good what you would do is similar to the energy ball and this this is in the fundamentals video you would bring out a shield and you would feel it around you and you'd make the intention to hold it there um with shielding it's very different to say creating an energy ball or 
yeah, if anyone hasn't refreshed, refresh the page. Um, it's very, it's not like creating an energy ball. It can the technique can be very similar, but unlike an energy ball, you want to create it and then get rid of it. Um, with shielding, you want to create it and then just add to it over time, and you just keep adding. And then, so you know, if you're getting attacked and you think, oh, I've got to create a shield, <laughs> you're not doing it properly. You want to create a shield so then when someone attacks you a month later, it's not an issue. Um, so I went through and I just would visualize. Um, I, I tried all kinds of shapes and sizes. When you first start, you don't see energy literally. You see energy um, basically how, how you imagine it. And it will uh, it will work, so, so long as you believe it works. So there is a lot of belief when you first begin. And then as you train, you will begin to see both your shield more literally, um, especially if... <laughs> You, you can often tell if your shield's broken, even if you're a brand new um, person. You'll create a shield, and then you'll, let's just say you create a nice brown pine cone around you, lots of spikes. And then you check on it four days later, and there's a giant hole in there. Or <laughs> even uh, more accurate, th there's construction tape out, out the front, and there's somebody holding a uh, construction pad, and they say, no, no, it's under construction. And if, if you're foolish or naive, you go, oh, okay, my shield's under construction. Um, if, if that does happen to you, and that's happened to me a lot, attack the construction worker, he'll transform into a lizard man, keep attacking him until he's fully erased, erase all the construction. Um, with your shield, you don't want to do a patch job. You don't want to be like, all right, well, this, the rest of my shield took two months, but now I've got a giant hole. Um, what you want to do is just expand your shield to fill in the hole. Um, how often do you need to reshield? The answer is once you've got it up, just check on it once a week. But, I mean, I check daily. I used to... Um, using short and tried technique, do it every single night before bed. I would do my energy techniques, I do the waterfall, I practice grounding, and I do an energy ball, and then I would just pump energy into the shield. Um, and that works quite well, and that helps build up your overall energetic strength. So with shielding, if you don't need to do it daily, but just do it two to three minutes before bed. Um, now short and tried technique was great. Uh, the problem was I just didn't have enough energetic strength. So I would have a shield and I'd have entities physically in my room <laughs> just hitting me. <laughs> and it's like, why Why isn't my shield working? Um, and I'll explain why chronologically. So I had no idea how things were still attacking me. They were still stealing my energy. And I was, I had the intent for shielding. I was certainly making a shield. Um, so then around 2019 in... I'm going to say February as well. Uh, I had a session with Kelly in the Raw and she taught um, just for an hour some fundamental techniques and they were quite helpful. And one of hers was shielding. And rather than bringing the energy out of your hands and having it around your body, which does work, she would have you um, picture yourself and then you would just pick, you, you would just imagine very strongly a shield around you. Um, and it more so relied on the strength of your imagination. Um, it That which also relied on your overall energetic strength um, that you had. So, with Kelly's, she said, just picture something very strong. And I believe Sean Shire said the same thing, and most people will. Um, you, you can picture your shield made out of steel, titanium, bricks. You can just have a square <laughs> brick cube if you want. Something that you don't... You wouldn't imagine a dragon just breathing in, breathing fire on it, just racing. So I pictured a, and you can do this too, I pictured a very large yellowy um, mythological fruit because I thought, yeah, nothing's getting in. I put lots of, it was very spiky and then I just improved on it over time, added more spikes, made it bigger. Um, with shielding, you don't want to be like, oh, I'm going to shield the whole planet. That's, <laughs> that's not going to last two seconds. You want to just shield yourself, um, shield enough that if you're putting your arms out like that, they're not going out. But other than that, that's around the size you want to work on having your shield. So I did that with Kelly and then she would say, okay, now I'm going to test your shield and she would energetically try and attack you. She would remote view in negatively with negative intent and she'd get hit by the shield. That's not how I would <laughs> teach someone shielding because I've done that, I believe twice I've tried that on, on friends. I'm like, let me try this. I go, yep, that works and that hurt. So... Um, I wouldn't do it that way, but she did, and she's like, ow, ow, it hit me here, 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 and I, <laughs> I thought it was, um, you know, rather funny, and then she was like, okay, I'll, c I'll come with good intention, and 
it let her in. And your shield will let people in, so long as they have both good intention and are energetically positive. It will not let in anyone who is either neg who has negative intention or who is negative. So you can have someone who's just very targeted, oozing negative energy everywhere. They can be a good person, but your shield's not letting them in. And it's definitely for your own good. Um, so Kelly did that. And then I said, oh, Kelly, what does it look like to you? And she said, oh, and she started explaining. And then she said, oh, hang on. You've got a giant. I just had a giant hole in my shield. Okay, I had a sphere and then right here, just giant hole. And she's like, I've, I've never seen that before. And I thought, okay, this, well, that doesn't help me, Kelly. How do I fix that? And she said, I don't know. Um, do you want to come back in a week? And I thought, no, I don't want to, I don't want to come back in a week. I want to get shielded now. <laughs> And progress. All right, if I come back in a week, if I don't know the root cause, I, you know, I'm not quite sure how to fix this. And then she said, oh, it could be emotional. And it made sense. I was having entities hit me all the time. Um, for anyone who's clicked on this and they don't know what negative entity is, just think of ghosts, demons, gargoyles, monsters. That's a negative entity. I just group them all together. And most people do be just group them all together as that. Um, for me, it was mainly ghosts. Where I lived in Australia, used to live, there were a lot of ghosts and they were really mean. Um, so she, she said, you know, um, okay, well, you have to fix this hole. We, we can't continue. A lot of this won't work if you clear energy because they'll just come right back in. So I <laughs> closed my eyes and I said, my shield works, my shield works. And I just repeated that to myself because I consciously understood energy and I understood that it should work. But subconsciously, I didn't, you know, I had fear, <laughs> fear that it's, it, you know, I'd, my shield that I've been doing with Sean Chide wasn't really working. Um, and I just said it would work, it would work, it would work. And then she said, okay, good. It now has a big dint in it, but it's <laughs> fully close. And I, I went, all right, Kelly, good, good. We can progress. And we went through and um, she taught me the other techniques and it was um, rather helpful at that stage. Um, it, in terms of Kelly's energy, uh, I'd recommend you feel into it yourself because um, her... From, from, from my perspective, her energy is all over the place. So she, she can be great and she can be a bit over the place. Um, but I did really like Kelly. She was a really, uh, she was a really good person. Um, so then from there, I used her technique. So I would just feel my energy um, coming out of my entire body and I'd picture my, so I, wasn't, I was no longer just using it out of my hands. And I would picture this very strong shield and I'd picture it getting stronger and stronger. Um, one thing I do remember Kelly saying, I had negative entities in the room while I was having the session. And I'm, I was like, Kelly, can, can, can I get rid of these things? And she said, yeah, just tell them to go away. And I'm like, I remember thinking, Kelly, what if, what if they get mad? It's like, if I tell them to go away and they don't, like, I don't have a way to get rid of them. They're just going to, they're just going to beat me up. <laughs> and she said, no, no, just stand, you know, just tell them to go away. Um, and I was like, oh, go away, please. And they, they didn't listen to me. Um, and in terms of having entities in your room, play the last clearing video I made, uh, house clearing. Or this one, this one will help with that as well. Don't just say, get out of here, skedaddle, because they may skedaddle if they're, <laughs> if they're nice, most of them aren't, um, but some will. Most won't, they'll just look at you and maybe you know, hit you with a negative energy attack um, or steal some of your energy, because at that point, I, I'm not, I was not me now. This was me three years ago. Um, now, you know, I wouldn't try that at all, but back then I didn't have a choice. And most of us, when we're training up, don't have a choice. <laughs> um, although you, you all know this video will help a lot. It wasn't really until 2021 in February as well. February's are a good time for me. In February in 2021, um, uh, I was in Australia and the government basically said, all right, we're shutting down everything, as you know. Um, well, you may not know this, but they said, we're shutting down everything for uh, the thing that was they wouldn't stop talking about. Everybody gets paid minimum wage to stay home. And I went, oh, okay. So I just what, get paid minimum wage to energy work? Like, I don't have to, uh, you know, keep working. So it's like, okay, well, you know, I can't go to work anyway. You've closed down everything. So I just stayed home and I just energy trained and energy trained and energy trained all the time, just nonstop. Um, and what ended up happening was I was working on my shield and I just kept, kept working on it all the time. I had energy going in and well, whenever I was training, I had energy going in and getting stronger. And I came across um, a YouTuber who was great for about two weeks. He, he did an interview on a medium sized uh, show. It was great for two weeks and then just 
became became pretty bad pretty quickly. But he did aerokinesis, and just watching one of his videos, I realized, um, just seeing the energy, I could see him drawing it in, and I, I had a problem where I was using my own energy, I was using the God Bubble, but I was very blocked up. Just, um, it was very hard to draw on my own energy. I was drawing on it a lot, but I seemed to have basically an energy tank for the day and if I used it at 7am I was tired for the whole day and if I used it at 9pm I was tired then I went to bed and I woke up and my energy tank was refilled so um, once I discovered that what I would do is I I can draw my own energy now <laughs> whenever I want thankfully but I would get up and I would just do movements um, a lot of it was just in intuition so I'd just be moving around and um, breathing in nature's energy and that was I was finally able to refill my battery tank and then I could just keep clearing all the time. I no longer had to stop. So it's like, all right, well, you know, I, here's money, stay home, energy train. So that's what I did. I stayed home and uh, sometimes I went to the beach, sometimes I went to the gym, but most of the time I was just at home, <laughs> energy training all the time. Um, and I was working really hard on my shield and because I had much more energy to draw, um, I hit a massive obstacle. What would happen is I would go in and I'd clear and I'd just erase Entity Realm after Entity Realm. Um, an Entity Realm example. So I'd go in, just I, I'd go into my own energy. And initially I had set up an, a big Colosseum, a, a nice big arena, and I would just call out any entities and they'd come in and then I'd fight them. I'd always win because... <laughs> um, how it was then the, the you can only really call out and fight one things you are strong enough to perceive and if you're strong enough to perceive them inside of you this doesn't apply outside but if, if you can perceive them inside you're strong enough to win it might take a few hours um but you can win or, or worst case you can drive them off um so so long as you're tenacious you know now now things can be somewhat quick for me but it, yeah it used to be fighting all the time um so I had this arena and I'd go on and fight. And the problem was that negative entities stopped showing up. So I'd um, clear stuff in my arena and I'd have, at that point I had quite a bit of pain. So I'd have like sh aching shoulders and an aching lower back and an aching everything else. And I'd go in and I'd clear some stuff and it'd get a bit better. But things stopped showing up in my arena. They just stopped showing up. They're like, no, this guy is clearly <laughs> killing us. We're not going there. So I had to go and start looking around at my energy. So I leave the arena and I'd just be like, I see a big black wall over here. I would energetic use my energy to clear through it, go through, and there'd be a big black castle. Now this is an entity realm. As you get stronger, you will just see these as a big black sphere and you can just erase them from the outside. You don't have to go in. But when you're first starting, you'll have to go into the, to the big black vampiric castle. You go in, you slay all the vampires. They look at you like, <laughs> you're crazy. Because <laughs> it's, it's very rare that somebody just barges into their... Um, entity realm and starts erasing them. You go in, you erase everything, you find the core of the realm, normally a big black sphere, but your energy may show it to you in a different way. Once you see it literally, um, it can be quite different. It could just be a giant black key. Keys are very common, um, just literally, not, not even figuratively. Um, but you'd go in and you would clear that. I'm not sidetracked here, this is part of the story. So I was going through and I was clearing all these realms and I'd clear a major one and my back pain would like, let's say it was here and then it'd be shh, and then it'd come back. Or what would often happen is I'd clear, 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 be doing really well, and then I'd go to the kitchen. Uh, that, the kitchen in that house was so cursed. And I'd, it'd just, the pain's back. It's like, I just spent seven hours clearing my back. And now it's, you know, just vampiric castle, volcano, um, space station, you name it. Going through, and then here comes the pain again. It's like, ah, what is happening? Like, you know, am I shielded? Why am like, I, why is this coming back? It was really, really annoying. Um, so I just spent days clearing, clearing, uh, and clearing. And I remember I went to a, um, I was trying to run a small business at the time. I was trying to be a wedding videographer and there was a small business networking, um, pro not program. It was like a, a club you could pay to join. And, I went out to a nice beach party and met people. And I remember going back to the car um, that I was at, where, where I parked my car, and it was on the beach and just energy training for maybe 30, 40 minutes. Because the great thing is when the government is paying you 
minimum wage to energy train, you can very simply pick your own hours. So if you finish a party at midnight and you just want to, you know, stand at the beach when no one's around an energy train for 40 minutes, you can. Um, and I remember doing that and I, this is, this is part of the story. Um, feeling, <laughs> I can feel, I'm not quite sure, um, whose energy I'm feeling there. I'll just wall, wall all that away. So, um, I remember training there and I was like, all right, I'm going to keep training. Um, and what I would do is I would bring out God bubbles and I just bring out like, it was getting comical. It was like, I bring out 4 million and then that it got to the point where I was saying such large numbers that weren't, weren't real numbers because I ran out of like billion, trillion, and then it was like quadrillion, <laughs> you know, um, like hundred bajillion, you just kept going up and making numbers. I'm like, this, this is, uh, getting really annoying to just say mentally. So I would go, all right, uh, 400 bajillion trillion is now one. And then, and then I'd be like, okay, now two. And I bring it out. And as I was doing that, and uh, it's a really good focusing technique. It just brings out your own energy for you to use. Um, I would bring that out and I remember feeling so incredibly powerful because I had just risen such a massive amount using my own energy. Um, cause I would bring out like, let's just say 20 God bubbles, hit a wall, 21, push, 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 22, keep going, keep going, keep going, 23, and then 24, it just, um, and I remember my voice got so insanely deep, and I, I mean, I'm so much more powerful now, but back then, I remember feeling that night so insanely powerful, I remember driving home, and I, I couldn't sleep, so I was just and energy training till I think I fell asleep at like 3am I was just energy training drawing nature's energy moving moving um, bringing out God bubbles and yeah, often when you have a very large um, energetic shift especially quickly um, it, whenever I do Wim Hof or whenever I'm just relaxed my voice tends to get uh, very deep and I had this insanely deep voice when I was doing this and I remember feeling so powerful and I was just going through and ma making giant energy balls out of nature's energy and just exploding it and clearing things and I had this gigantic shield. It was humongous, okay? It was essentially, best way I could describe it is a purple crystal, um, and it had billions of spikes on it. It was absolutely gigantic. And when I was at this um, networking night, I remember, um, there was another um, networking group, and I, I asked about it, and they um, they said, oh, yeah, th this was just for like a local area. The one I was in was like a much larger area, but just for that local area, they said, oh, yeah, we have one. Uh, we're having a meeting tomorrow night. Do you want to come down? And I said, yes, I would. So this was before they were... <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Um, no, no, th I believe they were. Yeah, yeah, this was after... This was either after restrictions, or perhaps they were in March. Um, and my business just wasn't going well, so I had time. <laughs> e either way, um, I was energy training. Um, no, I, th I think this was most likely um, after they were uh, paying us just to energy train. Either way, um, the next night I was going to go out to this meeting and I joined a Discord group. Discord is basically an online um, chat forum. And it was a spirituality one. And I joined this particular one a few weeks prior. And someone joined, and he looked like um, his picture was yellow Squidward. It was this yellow squid alien with like holes in it. It, it was a very very detailed picture, and I remember thinking that's that's very weird. Um, I now know that that is what archangels look like. At least that's the, the particular race of archangels in this matrix right now that say they're archangels and put on this false front. That's what they look like, and oftentimes they won't even. Um, look like humans. They'll dress themselves up as unicorns <laughs> or fairies or whatever um, you want, really. Whatever they think will trick people. Um, but that was an archangel. And he started writing some very creepy things in chat like, oh, you look like... I don't remember, um, but he's, he said to look like one of the archangels and he started calling me out. And I'm like, alright, this guy's creepy. And I said to the owner, hey, you got to ban this guy. This guy's pure evil. Um, the owner, he, I think he was either offline or didn't see my message. So, I, I said that, and then I, what used to happen, and this probably happens to a, a lot of people, 
when I'm home clearing, 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 stuff really wouldn't fight back. It, it, the, the entities I was attacking would, but overall, my body was like just painful. It was just, it just hurt a bit. But if I were to go to bed, I'd get like in inside, like thumping and getting hit, and the pain of flare up. I was like, ah, oh, come on. And it would also happen when I was driving because entities don't like you really leaving the house. They don't like you, you know, enjoying yourself. So I remember um, shortly after I read his message. I saw him remote view in, and I'm like, ah, oh, I've just spent a very long time working on my shield. You're not getting in. And he went in, he's gone. And I went, okay, good. That, you know, that's the end of that. Hopped in the car, stuff, stuff starts, you know, acting up. And I'm like, all right, this is going to be an annoying drive. I drive, uh, I'm driving, and about 10 minutes in, uh, I see in my arena, he lands. And I'm like, hang on, how, how did you get in? How did you get in? I just spent... A very long time making the shield super strong. Okay, I'm seeing it. It looks great. How did you get in? It. I was mad. Um, so I, I went down and I... At that point, I just had an arsenal of weapons in my arena. So I just grabbed him and started cutting him up. And he dove into the ground of the arena and started grabbing negative entities that I couldn't see. And if you've seen The Matrix, he, he straight up Agent Smith them. He um, he walked up and or flew up and just put, put his hand on the head and they turned into an archangel. And I'm like, oh no, I've really got to stop this guy because he's <laughs> I'm going to have the billion archangels I have to fight. Um, just, just like in the Matrix. So I went ahead and started fighting him, erased him, erased him. And it, he was actually helpful because I couldn't find these entities. They were living in the, uh, well, existing rather than living. They were existing inside the sand of the arena and I didn't think to check in there. So after that, I made the arena um, solid uh, later on. But I cleared him, and then I went to the meeting. I remember sitting there, and I have a, um, well, I, this isn't my technique. I learned this memorization technique. So I was sitting there, and everybody was introducing themselves. And what I would do is I would draw a picture, because um, humans tend to remember better in pictures than just names. So one person would say the name, and I'd be like, all right, this name. And I'd just quickly be like, all right, uh, Andrew, swordfish. Why? I don't know, but every Andrew is now a swordfish. So... If I ever meet an Andrew, Swordfish, you know, I just go, what's his name, Swordfish? All right, Andrew. And I'm basically, I'm now realizing this is a thought form that you're putting on people, or it's at least, and if they, even if they clear it, it's on your end as well. So you'd go, Andrew, Swordfish, no problem. One girl, uh, I won't say her name, but I remember, I was, oh, okay, that's a nice name. And I just pictured a, a like, white flower with some yellow in it. And a big black monster showed up and ate the flower. And I'm like, hang on, no, that's not what I want. White flower, not big black monster. So I ended up... <laughs> <laughs> um, to write a name on there it, it was very annoying um, and I didn't really have any energetic problems while I was there was it like they tend to save up their energy for like he's driving get him now um, but I remember going and getting in the car I pulled out my phone and I messaged him I'm like hey you gotta ban this guy he attacked me and he said okay yeah yeah I'll ban him and he banned him and I hopped in the car and I was like how did he get in how did he get in? I've got this giant shield. It doesn't make sense. Um, and what then, because I was seeing the top half of my shield, because it was huge. It was humongous. And I'm like, wait, show me the bottom half. And <laughs> I had this giant, giant, incredibly strong top half dome. And the bottom was just all black underneath. Now, I'd made, and so I was like, how did this happen? How did they break the entire, where's the bottom gone? So I went ahead. And started um, using the shield's energy, extending it down to erase the blackness and close it. And then from that point on, I was actually shielded. So it took me until I started training in 2018 February. Learned, learned Kelly's techniques, 2019 February. It took me until 2020 February to actually get shielded. And what happened was, and shielding is much harder for people who are quite targeted. Entities, I'd get up a really good shield, it'd be working great. And then they'd wait till I went to bed. And, or just asleep. Um, they wish I was asleep. And then they'd come in and just break parts of it. Um, and some some of them would even, like I was in a, um, like, Roadrunner cartoon. They'd paint <laughs> a, a cover over my shield. So I'd look and, you know, I wasn't going through and attacking every part of my shield to check that somebody didn't paint over my, you know, paint over my shield. 
So I um, went through and found these entities and a lot of them were on um, just like pieces of black outside, just negative energy and they were hiding. So I remember there were at least a dozen, I think it might've been 16, 17, um, fairly strong entities, at least now they'd be completely nothing to me now. But back then it's like, oh, there's 17 really annoying. No, it was definitely 16. There were 16 really annoying, really strong entities. So I had to go and erase all of them. And you'd think, okay, well, after that, they just left you alone, right? No, no. Um, I'd check my shield and I would see entities with jackhammers, um, like jackhammering it. I'd have problems with them opening portals, very tiny portals, and then just gradually widening them through the shield. I had so many issues with shielding. That's just, and that's why I'm making this video, so you don't have to spend <laughs> two years of pain just because you didn't have the strength to build up a, you know, a shield that's like, it works, okay? They're not jackhammering through it, not portaling through it. They're not replacing the entire bottom half. <laughs> oh, it was very, very tedious. Um, that, so I was actually thankful to that guy. I was like, oh, thank you, thank you, because him, he was so obvious. The entities I was dealing with were crafty. They, I wasn't seeing him come in the top. They were coming in the bottom um, that I wasn't seeing. So thank you, Archangel guy. Now that didn't stop me a few weeks or a few months later being like, you know, that was still a pretty that was still a pretty bad thing for him to do and hitting him with some energy. <laughs> yeah. Um, because he, if he does that to me, he's doing it to everyone. So no, that's gotta stop. But at that particular point, that was very, very beneficial for me. Um, Archangel Man. Very helpful. Well, just in order to explain um, to people how, how this works. So if you summon the Archangels and you really, really like the Archangels, you can just suck in Archangel energy and you can just keep sucking it in. And you think, you, you, you may feel great if, if your intuition is not that good. If your intuition is good, you'll feel terrible. And you have to just be like, no, no, this is good for me and keep going, which would be very dumb. But if you just keep sucking in, you will become corrupted and your energy body will go from being human to being a yellow squid humanoid, which is terrible. Um, but after that, I finally got my shield working. I had notes that I was going to reference and I put them, where are my notes? Here they are, here they are. Um, the rest of my notes are just different things I'm going to talk about, um, in regards to shielding. But that's that. So this this video, I'm going to talk about the energy of this video now. So you, I'm going to talk about it in more detail. You are essentially, um, right now, inside of a large gold pillar. And outside um, go shielding energy. Now, as this works on you, I can't just shield you. That would be incompetent. That would be terribly, terribly incompetent. Because your entities would just go, hey, what is this? There's suddenly this giant gold dome around us and it's hurting us. And they would really get mad at you. And they'd get mad at your surroundings. They would be pretty mad. So, what this is going to do is it's going to fully shield you. And then the energy is going through and it's also clearing you. Because negative entities, they can get into you like that guy where they just remote view in... Um, negative entities don't really remote view that they, they exist in a different dimension but they ju they just come on in but even if you are shielded let's say you have energy body damage on your left hand um, so most people if you're around a cursed area and you've got even a bit of sensitivity or you get a really cursed object you will feel it first in your body before a particular area this is often because you have energy body damage in a particular area and it'll come in there so I'm also restoring your energy body. So you can essentially picture golden thread going into your body and restoring um, the various, um, and your energy body doesn't just exist in, as one big energy body. There is also, it also has your nerves, your muscles. It's a replica of your body. So it will go through. So if you feel, um, for example, your face is twitching and it could be your no nerves, it could be your muscles that is just um, negative energy being cleared from your energy body nervous system. That's nothing to worry about. You may feel cold um, 
especially if you have ghost energy, that, that can tend to be cold as it clears, um, but then you should feel warm afterwards. As this goes through, you may feel heavy because if, let's say, there's probably quite a few people watching this with like, that are like this. If your energy body is just a bit of heart, a bit of brain, a bit of stomach, as your energy body is cleared and restored and essentially rebuilt, uh, you know, we have the technology, we can rebuild you, then um, you may feel quite a bit of heaviness, but it'll be a good heaviness. It'll be dense, much more grounded, and you'll feel much more present. That is the, um, really, how I would describe it. Um, with shielding, so long as, okay, with when you do shielding, you're going to use your own energy, okay? You, you can do the God Bubble and just pull your energy in from there. Once the God Bubble's up, you don't pull the God Bubble back in. You picture the God Bubble and then you say, God Bubble, give me my, send my own energy to me. And you can do that. Or nature's energy. Do not, and you can do it imagination-wise or you can do it out, out of your arms or out of your body, no problem. Do not do this. Do not say, oh, nature, can you please uh, give me a shield? And then, you know, out comes this, green deer and he goes oh of course darling of course i'm gonna give you the best shield anyone's ever had and then you end up with this giant tree around you <laughs> because then you have someone like me look at you and i say why do you have a giant black corrupted nature um you know shield around you and just oh no i just uh i, I had i'm talking about this because i had a friend who's now like probably doing buddhist stuff um just more new age stuff who was like oh no i just asked nature i'm like stop don't ask nature all right so i, I cleared a shield for him and said use your own energy don't don't accept a shield as a gift you have i know it's it's it uh, i say this while i'm making a shielding video you can accept it from me uh, energy work you can accept from good people yes don't accept it from entities if there was a positive entity um they have the same currency that this is what i figured out a similar currency that um Germany had, uh, you know, pre-World War II and then during World War II that was based on value. So, for example, he, the uh, this is very, very rare. It's very unlikely. But I'm saying this because someone's going to comment. Um, so if you were to ask them for a shield, they would say, sure, um, you know, you're not very strong right now. So you, you will sign this contract and, which, you know, is, isn't really a good idea. Um, but if you, if it's negative, you can erase it. And if it's positive, it's you know, don't don't be a dick. <laughs> repay the person. Repay the being. So, they but they would say, or he would say. So let um, to say you have a blue crystal being. He he would say, sure, I'll I'll shield you, but um, you have a you want to have a time window of five years, and because you're not very strong, that's going to take you will need to work for a year and a half. Now, as you get stronger, you still have this five year window, and when it takes you three minutes, four minutes. Okay, you have successfully come out ahead. But I, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, I'm, I'm, and I don't recommend anyone does that. But people will certainly uh, be like, are you sure there's not, nothing that can give me a shield? And no, don't, don't, don't do that. Make your own shield, all right? Yeah, that friend, I'm like, don't do that. Okay, you know, make your own shield. And then he, he went and had a shower and he came back and he's like, hey, how's this one? And I'm like, it's the same thing. What did you do? And he goes, oh, I asked the tree next door. Stop asking the trees. <laughs> Stop it. Because with nature's energy, there is green, positive nature's energy and there is corrupted nature's energy. And if you're just asking things willy-nilly, you're very likely, corrupted nature will be like, yeah, come here. It'll, it'll grab you. But if you're actively training yourself, you're more likely to get nature's energy unless you're particularly trying... To connect to a specific tree, um, which unless you're in a area with really good energy, is not the best idea. Um, so you know that's my story on <laughs> how bloody annoying it was to get shielded. It was so tedious. But then, but then after I figured out from that archangel guy what my shield was going on, I cleared and I cleared and I cleared, and the pain it went down. And it stayed down. It'd go up a bit. It'd go down, 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 down. And then I go to sleep and I wake up and it'd be here. And then down, 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 down. So I was... But I was actually making progress. Um, clearing, like, pain away for the first time. And this pain was just... I had so much negative energy in me. It was just manifesting as physical pain because I was quite sensitive because my energy body was absolutely covered in just crap. 
So, um, yes, so after that, it wasn't just all, it wasn't just, you know, easy. Um, I would clear, 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 go to sleep, and I'd move back three hours. But if you're clearing 15 hours a day, if the government's paying you to clear, then you can, you can just, you know, keep, keep doing it. I'm not recommending you clear, you know, this video will make it that you won't have to be clearing for 15 hours to then go three hours back, or... Uh, you know, 15, 18 hours, to be honest. <laughs> I was clearing a lot. Now, I wasn't just sitting here just, you know, with my eyes shut like that or sitting on the beach with my eyes shut. I'd have a book up. I'd, I'd have something on because you get, you, you know, I can do that for hours, but I get bored. Eventually, I get bored. It's like, oh, another vampiric castle. It's like, it gets boring. So, as you get better with energy work, you'll be reading a book and you'll be like, vampiric castle, go through, clear. <laughs> Um, you know, it's not requiring all of your focus and attention. If anyone has any questions or wants me to elaborate on any part of uh, that story, let me know and I'll do so. Um, yeah, so I went through and I, it, it was very annoying. Um, and some days it, it'd be three hours, some days it'd be four hours back. But I was still gaining 10 hours forward for the first time. And I did eventually fully get rid of that pain. I haven't had any um, chronic pain for years. I might have some big negative energy thing come up that is uncomfortable and then I clear it. But I'm not sitting there for months like, get go away. <sighs> oh, that's good. You move, Simona. <sighs> I'm just energetically feeling into my own story if there's anything else in there that's important. Um, in terms of this video, so you can play it and, you know, it will help and clear your... I'll, I'll go into clearing in a moment. Um, a, a good question is, can you ever do this video? And the answer is, yes. If you put this on, and this goes for all the healing videos, but if you put this on and you get really sleepy, that's your energy just... <sighs> Um, just absolutely sucking in energy um, and your body's got to be like alright we need to go to sleep we need to it's like you've had a giant meal your body has to put you to sleep so it can digest this and figure out how exactly it's going to cope with all this energy that you've sucked in now if you're unemployed or you're tired and you're just in pain yeah you can you know take naps take as many naps as you want um, but if you're working and you're getting tired you know take a break listen to your intuition but your intuition all right if you're hearing voices saying oh it's evil you know don't play this that that's not your intuition most likely not um but if your intuition is like okay that's enough it'll it'll be like that's enough take a break then you can um you know take a break and you know play it when you feel you need to once this is up so for some of you for some of you this will be a really easy video all right i'm pretty good at shielding so it's like it's one of the main it took me so long to get good at it that it's, it's one of the things i do pride myself on being really good at um so some of you you'll feel the shield click in 10 minutes some of you it'll be four hours because you will have so many negative entities and energy that's like no don't let this person get shielded. If they get shielded, you, you know, this person's going to start going forward, not backwards. And we don't want that. We want this person, you know, to suffer and suffer and feed us. Uh, or, but you know, potentially suffer, suffer, suffer. And then, <laughs> go be an archangel. Um, so, you know, use your own intuition. Um, you know, if you're playing this at work, which, which you can, um, then you know, it's it's not going to be a problem. But if you're sleeping all the time and you need to get work done, stop. So how this works is we have an overall um, energy field around us. You may have heard of the auric field, the aura. Essentially, okay, we have a physical body and about here on us. Um, unless it can fluctuate, but it's only about here. This is your aura. This is your entry to your energy field. It extends over your entire body. Negative entities that are coming by in, in um, not in this dimension, but they can just come by and in. So what this is doing is this 
bit here, it's shielding. That way, you uh, negative entities might just be able to dive on in. You may feel them push, 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 and then depending on how clever they are, they go, ah, okay, just no, no and leave. Or they'll go push, 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 and they'll erase. Um, can things get in? Yes. This is not a get out of jail free card. If you go, hey, let's let's all go to the old cemetery. I'll play the healing video. <laughs> That's number one, man. The, the cemetery might fall down. <laughs> so I, I don't want the cemetery falling on you. And um, should, should have said crypt. The old crypt falling on you. But let's say you go to a cemetery. Things can still get in um, if you're in a really cursed area. Because the way I do my shields is they're essentially flexible. So rather than, let's say you go to the, the cemetery and everything pushes, 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 rather than just going and breaking, they'll just come in. Now, if you're having a really, really just rambunctious time, your stuff is going crazy. What you can do with the shield is you will simply give the intention and you will just say, all right, everything that wants out, let it out. And it will open a, uh, a hole and just like, you know, like a whale's blowhole hole, just out they go. You can do that. I wouldn't recommend that because now, congratulations, your neighbor now has negative entities um, and they'll be mad at you. So, it, you know, you're better off just putting up with the tediousness of it. And then, um, you know, having them erase. As this goes through. So, there are a few ways that things can get in, even when you're shielded. And this video will clear these, but the sensation can be a bit odd. So, for example, you may have physical, like, I'd say physical energetic wounds on your energy body. That are, and, um... Hi Road just asked, yes, you, you can play this on your phone, no, pro no problem. Um, I use my computer, but yes, you can play this on your phone. Can this protect against 5G? I will talk about that uh, later on. Um, the answer is partially, but I'll talk about that in more detail later on. So, let's say, physically, as a child, um, a negative entity came in and just chomped, just chomped a part of your heart out and then just left, or they normally don't leave, chomped a part of your heart out and then just took it down to your, down to your pelvis. Um, and then it just set up an entity realm. This will clear the entity realm, clear that entity, and then take your energy back up into your heart. The reason for this is because if you've got a giant chunk of your heart missing, or a giant chunk of any part of your energy body missing, this can form uh, what I call an energy rift. And essentially, negative entities, they're really good at coming in in different ways. So rather than trying to get in, and oh, there's this giant shield here, they will just go, they'll, they'll form an energy rift here, and then link it to the one inside of you, boom, in they go. You still have a problem with entities then. So this will go through and clear energy rifts from your body. Um, in terms of negative cords, the way those work is if you have negative cords, um, go play the video and, um, not, not play the video, go, go and, I recommend you cut your negative cords and shielding as well. These are lifelong skills, but negative cords, it's, you know, shielding you need. Negative cord, it's annoying, but most people, really anyone who applies himself and just keeps at it can cut their negative cords. You might have a really mean one with, you know, a step parent, but you, you can normally get through them. Even if you're fairly new, it may take you an hour to <laughs> cut your stepmom off your leg, but you can do it. Um, with negative cords, the shield not erase them because if I do too much, you, you're going to be all over the place. Um, but... They will, you will need to go and cut them. This is not a priority. I'm not trying to scare you. But let's say you're connected to your stepmom, right? You're shielded, but you've got a cord that goes right into your um, your right toe. And her energy can, right in the cord. I know, it's like, so you're telling me shielding is pretty much pointless? And the answer is, it's nowhere near pointless, but there's so many workarounds, it's bloody annoying. It's, it's absurd the number of workarounds there are. Um... Yes, this will protect you from... Entity War has been a few thousand years old. It's not that old. Um, so yes, it, it will protect you from that. Um, if, if you're getting absolutely hammered, play it in three, four tabs. Um, you know, if, if you don't... I, I wouldn't recommend you do that. As you acclimatize to it, you can do that. But when you first start playing through once, um, it's a good way to get used to it. Um, and just, you know, pull the lever up if you feel you need to. But if you're getting absolutely hammered, yeah, yeah. Play, play four tabs, go take a nap. Um, 
Oh, I lost my train of thought. All right, someone tell me what I was talking about. Quartz. I was talking about quartz. Negative energy can come in through the quartz, and they can also drain a bit of your energy from the quartz. So I'd um I'd recommend that soul contracts. They can also be a problem. Um, don't have a video on that, but I did talk about how to clear them in another healing video. Go find that. So soul contracts. For example, let's say they're they're really. I can break soul contracts down into two main areas. There is some soul contracts that will be you sign these in past lives because they they guilt trip you in the life review yada yada, or your dumbass ancestor, your great 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 grandpa wanted his business his business was going under, so he signed a contract with essentially the devil. Some of it is literally the devil. The you know your ancestors, you know talking somewhat about me here, they're not that bright, okay? They did very stupid things and they've sold their children down, 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 down. So those soul contracts can also be a problem. So if you, you know, um, 20 generations ago, grandpa sold you to vampires, then you will have a vampiric soul contract. So the way that will work is they won't be allowed in the shield, but the stuff that's there will have much, it'll have a much better resistance of staying in your body. It'll still gradually get cleared, even if you don't get rid of the contract. But it will... Um, have a much stronger resistance to the energy. It, it'll be like, no, no, this is my house. You, you, I have permission to be here from your 20 generations ago dumbass grandpa. Um, so soul contracts can also be a problem with shielding because it, they essentially have permission. It's, you know, like vampires, oh, you, you invited us in. It's like, yeah, but I didn't invite you in to eat my cat. I invited you in to, <laughs> you know, um, to, to make my business grow. Um, so that's how soul contracts will affect this. Um, Joe asked about portals, and I have that written. I have it written down here, Joe. It's on here. Portals. So the way portals work, and that's another problem. It's like energy rifts. So let's say you've got a Stargate portal. The bad aliens don't like you. They put a portal inside of your chest, right over your left pectoral muscle, or right under it. Then what you'll do, I realize I'm like projecting my voice. I get excited whenever I talk about this stuff. Um, what will happen is they'll come and they will say, oh, there's a portal in there. And then they'll oftentimes an entity shaman or whichever, either an entity shaman or the kind of a entity that'll build stargates. They'll have a stargate somewhere else and they go in there, come right out in you. Or they'll just portal outside, come out that portal there. So yes, this will clear portals. Um, I've talked about birth bumping before, so I won't go into that. Um... Overall, birth bumping isn't much of a thing. Entities just promise they'll give you a better, you know, come, come on back, we'll give you whatever you want. You know, you're like, I want to be the king of England. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, king of England. You know, um, and then they trick you. That's what normally happens there. Uh, I won't go into more detail than that at the moment. So there is also a very large problem. This is something I was working on recently. There are entities that suck energy in. So, even if you're shielded, let's um, let's say you've got a demonic entity, he's around your collarbone here, right? What he will do is, you will walk by someone who's super demonically, just lots of demonic energy, you know, covered in piercings and tattoos, really loves heavy metal, okay? Just walking around, big demonic presence. This entity will basically open his mouth, form a portal here, form a portal in that guy, and just... And you walk by and you're like, ah, oh, damn it! And then you have to go through and clear this other guy's demonic energy. That is really, really annoying. You want to be able to walk around people without having to be like, ah, oh, oh no. So, yes, this will clear those as well. I'm telling you about them, and yes, this will clear them. Because those entities suck, they need to be cleared. Uh, why the entities you're dealing with not getting erased? Well, um, double check you're using your own energy. If you're using something else, it's not going to work because you're using negative energy on a negative e entity. Um, or you're just not being tenacious enough. You know, if if it takes you two hours to erase something that's you know been bothering you for a while, it, it takes you two hours. Yeah. Um, Demonic areas in general, uh, demonic entities, those in particular, they really like the collarbone. Um, oftentimes, negative entities, they treat us like real estate. So they will just divvy up different parts of our body and <laughs> just assign it. Um, you know, they'll have 
fights back and forth with each other, but they'll often end up in similar parts in people's bodies. Um, it depends where you live. The energy of an area can massively influence the types of entities that are targeting you. Um, but those are the main points out about shielding. If anyone has any questions about shielding, let me know. I'm going to talk about um, the uh, EMFs. I'll talk about EMFs and how the shield works with that. Um, George Shungite can help. I've got... Uh, no, I won't, I won't show it. <laughs> Leave my Shungite alone. Um, but Shungite can help um, with that. So long as you clear and charge it. And charge it a lot. Um, the way the shield will work is I can... I think I should talk about this now. I'll talk about it in the next video. I'll talk about it now, yeah. So, essentially with crystals. Um, there are some crystals that are just negative, but... Let's just let's most do have positive. Um, for example, malachite. My energy does not like malachite, but um, you know I've had friends with malachite. It's like, oh yeah, that works great for them, and I can see it works great for them. Um, one of the best crystals ever, just ever, is, is shungite. Um, and the way these crystals work is they all have their own individual language. It, um, it, it to me, it just looks like symbols, but you can use the uh, energy of, of that. Um, you have to pay for it. Uh, that's that's how the currency works. But you can use that energy. And I have put because uh, I'm going to talk about this more in tomorrow's video because um, it's it's more um, valid there. But I've put a lot of shungai energy into this particular um, shield. So. This will not... I wouldn't recommend you go start going walking under cell towers and, you know, holding your phone next to your head. But this will help mitigate EMFs. Uh, it will help quite a bit because Shungite energy, even without the stone, just using the energy, will mitigate EMFs. So the shield will help. Um, I forgot to talk about how the, sh <laughs> how the shield's going to uh, work for other people. So you're in this gold pillar. The shield is working on you. So it is working 100% on you. And then as it goes out, it works less of a percent. So someone who is say 50 meters away, they get in 95% of what of what you're getting. And someone who's all the way at the, the end is getting two, 3%. For these people, um, and it's not just going to be people, this will work on animals as well. Um, if you want it to, in particular for it to work on your animal, you will simply say, I want this to work on my dog. Your dog will be there. He might look at you like, <laughs> what's going on? Um, but you can have it work on your dog. The people that will turn into a pillar will be you and anyone else in your household that are okay with that. And then the pillar will normally last around two hours. Um, but you can just play the video and you can you can play this video. You could have a computer on in Switzerland and go to uh, Russia. And it will still work because the location isn't a problem. You say, I want this to work on me and it'll work on you. So if you have a family member and you want it to work on them or if they're going somewhere that's super cursed, what you can do is you can put on the video and you can say, work on them and then they can go to their crypt and they won't get as beat up. Um, so you can do that as well. Um, really, it'll work on anyone who is... Good. Not someone who acts good. Not someone who is evil but puts on a front. But someone who is actually good, it'll work on. Um, same with animals. You know, birds. Uh, yeah, wildlife. Anything that's in your vicinity, it'll work on. Um, you should say, okay, well, once the shield's upright, do I, do I need to keep playing it? Like, I'm shielded. And the answer is, as this is up longer, the shield will get stronger. Just how I would do a shield, you know, each night. The shield will just get stronger in time. Um, is there a ceiling on this? The answer is not really, but there's not much of a difference between a shield with 400 bajillion energy and a shield with 800 bajillion energy. It might block two more things, <laughs> right? Um, so there's not much of a difference. What it will really do is once the shield is up and it's really, really working, then it will focus more of its energy on restoring your energy body, restoring your crystal body, restoring the various parts of you. This will not... Um, a way entities can get in is through uh, emotional traumatic wounds. Um, I'm going to do the fundamentals of energy where I talk about that. 
<laughs> once I have the brain power for it. Um, I'm going to talk about that tomorrow as well. But with this, this will not. I'm not just going to be like, oh yeah, yeah, we've got to get these emotional wounds out of here. You know, your your massive fear of it's most likely rational of of this. Yeah, just jam my finger in there. No, I'm not going to do that. This will not do emotional wounds unless you specifically say, I want this to do emotional wounds. I wouldn't recommend you just say something as vague as that because you'll you'll be sitting there shivering in fear and <laughs> getting hot flushes. I've, I've I have done that um, and I did clear a lot, but it's not fun. So instead, just say, oh, this particular emotional wound, or like you know, okay, stuff. I can feel stuff getting in my chest. Can you work on that emotional wound? And it will. Um, that is how if you choose to go down the emotional wound route, which you know you will gradually do. Don't you don't need to do it all at once. You can you know. Play it for 20, play the video and just say for 20 minutes, this emotional wound, close it so stuff can't get in. Um, most entities won't get into emotional wounds, but let's say, for example, um, you had a like childhood bully who was possessed by, um, let's just say, like T Rex entities or just dinosaur entities in general, uh, very, very evil entities. Then um, dinosaur entities will be able to get in the emotional wound that you have from that. Whereas vampiric entities won't even see it because it's not related to them. That's how that works. Um, will this energy help with... I mean, will this video help with people stealing your energy? The answer is yes. Essentially, when you have a lot of energy body damage, um, or just traumas, you have a lot of leaks, and if somebody has these entities in them that just uh, just how I said entities are sucking negative energy, these entities will just steal energy from you into, and often the other person won't even, you know, they won't get it. They won't get a pick me up. The entity will. The entity will steal your energy and get, get stronger from it. So yes, this will shield away and get rid of get rid of those weaknesses. So if you won't have it anywhere near as bad where people are just stealing your energy, and as you get stronger. You'll walk by and you'll feel like a tug from someone's entities and you will just basically tug back against it and, you know, hit the entity and be like, no, my energy, erase it. Um, but yes, this will help with that. I'm just going to scroll up the chat and see if I missed any questions. If, if anyone, I uh, haven't answered your question, feel free to post it again. No problem. Um, no, I wouldn't recommend if you have this shield to go and hunt pineapple people. This will help with pineapple energy, uh, or needleman energy, it will help with that. Um, but this shield will not protect from, there we go, I'm, I'm glad I read that. This shield will not protect from physical contact. So what that means is, if someone has really bad energy, and they, they touch you physically, alright, so here's your auric field, boom, they're, they're through you, they're touching directly, the shield will help a bit, but not much. Um, you know, it might mitigate 60% as opposed to just them being in the room and it mitigating almost all of it. So, don't let evil people touch you. Um, often you'll see, well, this is common with people um, who are just covered in negative entities and they, you know, are stealing people's energy. They'll walk over and be like, oh, how are you doing? You know, they'll be touching you too much. They'll just be touching you and like, they'll hug, they'll want to hug you and hold your hands for a long time, and you, you can feel they're stealing the energy, and you're like, hey, I know you're doing that, and they're like, oh, no, I, I don't know what you're talking about. So, this will help with that, but, you know, it's it's not a free pass to just do dumb things. If someone's got really bad energy, don't touch them. You know, that is, that is hard. Uh, it can be hard, but avoiding touching people that are just bastions of negative energy is a really major way to just protect your energy um especially if you've got pets like you, you know you can let people pet them but if somebody's got really bad energy it's like no this is <laughs> don't don't let them touch your dog and then you're gonna come home and play the video um you know it's just i guess like en energetic hygiene um of a sorts just be um what's the word just be more cautious um when you know being around others does anyone have any other questions about shielding? Yeah, that's it. I've answered all the questions. Good. Well, it's, I've answered all the questions so far.
Um, this this will also have a um, half life of. It, it varies person to person, so it's hard to say. Some people this will have a half life of ten minutes if they're super targeted. Some people will have a half life of two days. If you're feeling like too too much, then you can just make the in intention. You'll just say, "Okay, I've had enough," and just tell the goal pillar to stop, and, and it'll stop. You won't have a problem. Yeah, no, you're welcome, Ariola. That's why that's a major reason why I'm making this video because if energy work, you know, relied on just knowing the right techniques and um to write intention just to, it'd be shooting be pretty easy but it's not it's just so tedious and it just relies so much on strength anyway everyone i will see you tomorrow for um energetic expansion i will go into that then take care good